you who welcome back for another episode in the Heg with a completely different vibe. If you're new around here, I'm Michelle, and today we're exploring the city's beautiful sandy beaches on the North Sea, attempting to learn a bit of Dutch. Yeah, it sounds like a GC in a K. Do you know yep. French? Like, uh -huh. Getting lost inside a maze of tulips inside the world's most beautiful spring garden. And we'll be taking a couple of bike rides with completely different outcomes. I was not expecting this. This is the best view I've seen here so far. <laughs> I don't think that this is my first tram ride in life, but it's certainly my first tram ride in The Hague. The number one tram will take us all the way from the city center to, are you ready for it? Schleveningen Beach. Nailed it. Let's explore this piece of paradise, starting at the Kurhaus Hotel. Skyview reminds me a little bit of Brighton Pier in England, and although it was pretty quiet while I was there, I imagine it's a pretty bumping spot in the summer. I didn't book the big wheel this time around, but you can book a dining car for a luxurious dinner or high tea with a view. If heights aren't your thing though, there are a ton of restaurants and bars lining the beach, including Dutch pancakes and seafood. A trip to The Hague in spring wouldn't be complete without a big old dose of tulips. But first, we need to make a quick stop at the airport to pick up Eric, where our Dutch lessons commence immediately. Hello. Welcome to Holland in Dutch. Welcome to Nederland. Welcome. Welcome to Nederland. Oh, I got it. I got it. My bad. And the competitive spirit starts flowing. I bet Michelle's gonna uh, beat you, you in me. Mario Kart. Probably. I need. Highly unlikely. With all that sorted, we head out to Kokenhof. Yeah, it sounds like a GC in a K. It's a K. 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 Okay. Cook. Cook. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You say, uh, uh. Do you know yeah. French? Like, uh, 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 Which claims to be the most beautiful spring garden in the world. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Located in Lissa and open for only two spring months, you can observe the nearly 7 million flower bulbs that are planted here in this 79 acre garden each year. It takes a few hours to see Cook and Hoff in fall, but there are plenty of options for snacks, like perfectly crispy chips. These are the crunchiest fries. And Dutch syrup waffles. Oh. It's like the ones you would buy at home. Yeah, but? But way fresher. And it's warm, right? Warm. Yeah. And less like, less chewy. Love it. Because it's fresh. Look what I'm looking <laughs> You live in a high-tax society. How did get, how did get this place has nearly everything you might expect, including a hedge maze. How long do you think it's going to take us? Uh, 10 minutes. Hello? Oh, no, I can't get Hello? Darn, the other two got a head start. That's a dead end, guys. Feeling good about the left. Oh, dead end. Go back. Who's gonna win? So far, we're not doing super great. We're not doing great. We're gonna lose. Shh, I hear Eric. Yeah, now it's on. Ah! <laughs> oh, do another one. Oh, okay, go back. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
we lost. Win. <sighs> Big loser. Well, we definitely didn't win, but I sure felt like a winner eating the last bits of waffle in Holland amongst millions of tulips. Now, here's a question for you. How? Die? Genetically modified? Jomos. Jomos? How? One of you must know. How does this happen? Please explain. The bowmen zijn heel The trees are really big. Oh. Okay, give me another one. What? Jij vindt geel niet mooi. Um, let's go film something no it has to do with one of your dislikes of tulips oh it has to oh yellow tulips suck it, it's you don't like yellow <laughs> okay oh it's you don't like yellow my turn. Oh, okay okay my i don't turn. i don't my like turn. yellow yeah well that's because the van gogh is my favorite it's like a really really dark dark red. frilly spiky can, love them you can buy them at the airport i can buy them at the airport and put them in my tiny flat to be fair yellow tulips are a classic and they're fine. Before moving on from tulip land, last week when I was at Moritz house, I learned that tulips are not native to Holland. They were imported from Asia via Turkey at the end of the 16th century. Tulips became increasingly popular here in the 17th century, particularly the broken tulip, the ones with a flamed pattern that we now know are the result of a viral infection. Interested in a visit? Kuchenhof will reopen in 2023 from March 23rd to May 14th. So we've taken the tram, been to the beach, seen millions of tulips, but we haven't yet done as the Dutch do. We need to ride a bike. The biking network and infrastructure here is impressive, and honestly, so is the lack of concern for head trauma. And as you are about to see, Eric and I will be following this trend. Mom, I'm sorry, you taught me better. I was wrong. We have dinner on the beach and about 10 minutes to get okay. there. Romantic! <laughs> so what you're gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Romantic honeymoon! Gonna... A little romance for your oh, evening. Money. Define romance. And then you just, then it's a bike. <gasps> you might want to try it without her. her. Oh. Probably would have been a good idea. Oh, oh God. <laughs> you're telling me it's scary. It's not scary for you, it's scary for Eric. Okay. You All right it? here. I can sit there with no problem. Oh, front wheel, eh? The wheel in the front goes all over the place. Yeah, no, listen, that's me. That's Eric's oh, yeah. but Eric, hi. <laughs> You're gonna have to like yell out hazard. Oh, yeah. ah! I might need to get out. The driver has other plans. Wow, oh, just, just made it. So far so good, now to get up this hill. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, oh, whoa, go. now we're going, now we're going. Oh, embarrassing. That was, you know what, the worst part. Uh. The worst part is that there was like a crowd. <laughs> We are not going in a straight line. Oh yeah, we're coasting. Look at the oh, beach. Yeah. Oh yeah, you might want to start braking now. Now we're good. Braking? No. Front seat driving at its best. I can't say we've ever done anything like that before. That was an experience. <laughs> there are places like this scattered across the beaches of the Hague. We've come to a restaurant whose name I'm not even going to try and pronounce, but they have great food and an awesome patio. 
A little help with menu translation, and we've secured ourselves some much needed hydration and oysters, which Eric's never tried before. That's great. Exactly what I expected. Oh, and a bowl of bitter ballen. Too hot. They're like deep fried balls of seasoned, kind of creamy mystery meat, and they're delicious. Then a strange and ominous mist rolls into the hag. Spitzing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's foggy rain. <laughs> Concerned for my safety returning home. Here we go again with reduced visibility. It'll be fine. Taxi. Some of us have a renewed sense of confidence. Oh, this is smooth gear change. While others are still appropriately concerned for our safety. Safety first. Don't know, can't do that. This might actually go into like the, the most fun things we've done. For our last day in The Hague, I had one request, dunes. And of course, when Michelle's in town, we start the day off with a workout. Oh my god! My turn. And our aspiring videographer quickly turns drill sergeant. Show you're making me real skeptical! Four, five, six. Wow. Yeah. Post Sandy boot camp workout, we head back out on bikes, helmets securely fastened, and scan the hills for this World War II bunker. We've seen some pretty incredible views over the last two episodes, and I've saved the best for last. We're climbing dunes. Looking for a bunker. Sand in my shoes. I was not expecting this. What? This is the best view I've seen here so far. Guys, look at get a load of this. We found a bunker. From here we can see Rotterdam, the city center, sandy beaches that seem to go on forever, and of course the pier that we explored in the beginning of this episode. Are you alive? Yes. <laughs> that is so cold. Oh, no. You're gonna swim in this. Yeah. Why not? Woo! Oh, buddy. And? Cool. Do you have brain freeze? <laughs> now you have to go. No, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Like no, 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 no. Well, I think it's safe to say that The Hague has some pretty incredible landscapes that are worth a visit. This was our first Euro trip since moving to London, and for me, it's felt as much like home as it possibly could. Next time, I'm going swimming. Thank you for joining me. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye.